The Porn Pleasure Pain Paradox. I'm Dr. Trish Lee. In this video, let me tell you how porn seemingly promises you pleasure, but inevitably gives you pain. Stay with me. I promise I'll explain the paradox. Okay, number one, what we're going to talk about is three things. Number one, I'm going to explain to you how and why porn promises you pleasure but gives you pain. Number two, I'm going to explain to you what happens in your brain that causes that and keeps it going. Number three, stay with me until the end because it's your brain tip strategy of how to break the pleasure pain paradox cycle. Okay, let's dig it. Number one, how does porn promise you pleasure but give you pain? So we know from the science that a pornography habit exists on a cycle. So the way the cycle works is, this is important for the brain tip strategy, so follow along. Number one, the way the cycle works is, first there is a trigger. And these triggers have been conditioned over the time frame that you have been consuming pornography. So if you started watching porn when you were young, these triggers have been in place for a very long time. So basically a cue happens and it makes dopamine to begin to be dripped in your brain. You get a little drip of dopamine and your brain says, I'm feeling stressed because usually the trigger has to do with stress. We know that from the science. So your brain says, I'm feeling stressed and the way that I deal with stress is I go towards sexually acting out behaviors. So when you move towards watching pornography, masturbating, acting out in a way that gives you pleasure, your brain will give itself a flood of dopamine where larger than it could get anywhere else in the world. Literally, it's a super normal stimulus. So you're triggered, you're cued, you get a little drip of dopamine, which moves you towards the dopamine flood. So when you move towards it, then your brain gets the flood. After the flood, guess what? there is a drought. So not only is there no longer the flood of dopamine, there's extra low levels. Now here's the clincher. If you've been consuming pornography for a long time, that level of dopamine actually continues to go lower the more that you consume. So this is what leads to anger, irritability, anxiety, depression, chronic physical pain, erectile dysfunction, brain fog, not being able to think, all of those things are pain. They really are. Relationships that are, you know, falling apart and are being ripped apart by this cycle. So the way that it works is you get the pleasure in the moment then you get the pain in all the other moments that you're not consuming pornography. And as the cycle continues over years, over decades, there is less dopamine in the world. And I'm sure some of you know what I'm talking about when I say that even when you're consuming pornography, it doesn't have the same pleasure that it used to. That is part of the paradox. A paradox is, when something seems to contradict itself, but the more you investigate it, it proves to be true. So the paradox is, the more you consume porn, the less pleasurable it gets, and the more pain it creates for you when you're not in the middle of a session. So, now that was one and two. So what's the takeaway? The takeaway is three. If you want to break this porn pleasure pain paradox cycle, you have to really hone in on the triggers and the cues. So in this video, your takeaway that you're going to write in your leather journal, the one that you enjoy going back to so that you can learn about this stuff and go implement it, what you're going to write down is, what are my triggers? What are the cues that send me into this cycle? So many times they can be physical space, they can be time, so a time of the day or the week, somewhere in your home or somewhere in your office, somewhere in the world. People can be triggers, people, places and things tend to be big triggers. 
but what I want you to focus on are the things that you can control. You can only control certain things which are situational or categorical. So you have to look at the things and say, okay, if I'm triggered by women at the gym, then I can't go to that gym anymore. I need to buy myself some, some weights. I need to do body resistance training. I need to go to a different gym that only has men. So you have to figure out what your triggers are and what you can control. Onus of control. What can you control? So create self-awareness, become self-aware of what your cycle is. Then figure out how to take an action step. Changes happen powerfully when you take action steps. So analyzing your triggers is one thing. Figuring out how you you can control them is the next step and then taking an action step towards controlling them is going to massively help you break this pleasure pain paradox. So go for it, okay? Uh, if you are looking for help on this journey, please check out my website, drtrishlee.com. It has recently had a revamp and it's beautiful. And I thank my web designer for that. And it's easy to see what the programs are, what they offer. I am here for you if you want support on this journey. There's programs, small, medium, and large to fit everybody's lifestyle. So please go on over there because if you need the help, I would love to be part of your journey. And as always, control your brain or it'll control you.